Hello out there, all you young trombone players. My name is Dr. Timothy Shade, and I'm the director of bands at Wichita State University in Wichita, Kansas. And in addition to directing bands, I also play a lot of low brass, like trombone and euphonium. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about how we go about slurring on the trombone. Unlike our valved counterparts, the trumpets, or even the euphonium or the tuba, or the French horn, they have valves, right? We have a slide. So what happens when the valve moves is it creates a little bit of an articulation so when they slur, they don't have to use any tongue. We as trombone players have to use a tongue on every note that we play all the time, which is not always the most fun. However, we have to come up with a way to make sure that we can play smooth just like them. So when we do slurring, it's to play more smoothly. So how we start this, you should already be articulating with a T, I hope. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Now, just thinking the same way, say da, 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 and then say la, 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 la. You'll see between the ta, the da, and the la, the articulation gets softer. So it would sound something like this. Here's the ta. Now here's ta, da, da, da. The D is softer, and now La. You can see the La is the lightest of all three. So when I teach my students to slur, I try and get them to think about the La because it creates the smoothest transition we can between our notes. So if we're looking at exercise 95, which is smooth operator, or 96, forgive me, I've got to switch over. 96 is gliding along. These are good exercises to start slurring. So if I set my metronome to 88, it's always important that we're practicing with a metronome. I'm gonna play the first four bars of Smooth Operator, okay? So here's Smooth Operator as, as written, as written. play it as if each note has a T to it so you can hear the difference. So now I'll play it as written again so you can really hear the difference between a slurred attack between the first and second notes for instance and the more articulate. So here it is as written, slurred. So the trick to slurring on trombone is make sure we move the slide very fast, as fast as we can. It almost looks like I'm throwing the slide. I don't want you to actually throw it so you let go of it, but you must move the slide very fast. And make sure that you align that la or da right when your slide moves. moves. And that's the hardest part for us. It will take the longest amount of time for us to learn how to do that. So here's 95 uh, as written for an example. So this is with all the slurs as they are. My metronome is set to 88. Uh, that's sort of where we start on this, but you can obviously practice it wherever you need to. So you'll see sometimes a slide moves almost faster than the articulation occurs because I've got to make sure that the slide moves very quickly. And then here's 96 gliding along. This one that start is, starts us out at chord note equals 100. So here we have more air because we have more measures that we have to pass through. So make sure that when you articulate, whether it's a T or an L, that you're not stopping your air. Keep your air moving all the way through it. Your tongue will just sort of flick the air as it moves by to get that slur uh, attack that we want, that smoothness, okay? So just flick the air with a ta or a la, or a da, excuse me, a la or a da, and keep that air moving. Notice how big of air I'm taking when I play, okay? Here's gliding along at quarter note equals 100. <sighs> Thank you. 
You can hear a little bit of unevenness there, even for me. So I would need to practice this just a little bit more. And at that speed, it's kind of difficult. I would start to practice these much slower. Uh, but these are the tempi that we have sort of where we start out. So practice articulating or talking at first. Ta, da, and la. Just practice that so you get used to what it feels like here. Do it on consecutive notes first. So the first one was ta, da, 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 and then ta, la, la, la. And then start to add in either 95 or 96. Obviously, the further we have to go on the slide, the more difficult it is for us. So E flat to D will probably be pretty easy. F to E flat will be a little harder because you're gonna have to move faster to get out there so it's clean. Remember, slurring is really important to us. It allows us to play more lyrically, which later on will be even more beautiful than all of the articulateness that we play with the T attacks. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Good luck out there with all your slurring.